29th of November 2017. This is a sapphire hamster, female, 8 months old. Came in 8 days ago with the wound on the neck and warts on the ears. Mm, okay. Now, 8 days ago, we have done the operation. So the, the wound on the neck was a big wound. Actually, it wasn't a, a wound, it was a growth. So that's why the first vet prescribed the medication and uh, it, didn't, it didn't get cured because it was a small subcutaneous lump. Okay, so the surgery should be done because medication wouldn't help. It was quite a big one, about uh, 3 cm. Th this is in another video. And at the same time, the hamster had a wart here which we have removed. The wart is here at the bottom, at the base of the ear which we had removed. So now you don't see any wart. So the wart was here. Then there was another wart here. Okay, okay, come. It's a bit fed up now. Another wart here on the front of the ear, which uh, we had removed. Here, the wart was here, somewhere around here. It's a big wart, about three centimeters or two centimeters, uh, two millimeters uh, in, uh, in the entrance to the ear canal. Now, so this is a case of ear warts and lumps, subcutaneous lumps. So this case, obviously the antibiotics and anti-inflammatory will not work. And so the hamster continue to, to scratch. And of course the owner not, is not happy and uh, brought, brought the hamster to, to us to, to have a second opinion. Now you can see, this is 8 days later, the, the wound has healed, the wound has healed, so we have taken out the stitch yesterday, you can see the scar there, it's a quite a long scar, and uh, this scar is uh, after removal of the big subcutaneous lump, which has become uh, bleeding and itchy, so the hamster keeps on scratching. That's why there's hair loss here. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the surgery. Now, basically, this hamster has, if you talk on the right side, this, this is the one which, that one has prescribed uh, antifungus, antiabiotics, anti-inflammatory, and uh, of course it doesn't work because uh, this one wouldn't heal because it's a, it's a exposed lump, skin lump about uh, Two, two or three, two millimeters deep and about three, three to four millimeters across. So this one, even if you keep on giving antibiotics and anti-inflammatory, it won't go off. In fact, it, it got bigger, it got bigger. So it then keeps bleeding because the hamster starts scratching. So this is the one uh, which has to be differentiated from an ordinary wound. Ordinary wound, of course, it will heal because Ordinary one is flat. You see the other video, this one is raised. So this is the one which bothers the owner very much. And the first vet uh, didn't, didn't, uh, didn't resolve her problem. Now, the, there was another wart here, or, or, or the lump again, on behind the ears. That's about two millimeters, so on. And then on the left ear, inside left ear, there was a, uh, Another, we can call it what, at the canal, at the ear canal opening. So this hamster actually had at least three, three, three lumps. So the treatment is to surgery to remove it. Now we do use electro surgery, electro surgery, and uh, the electrodes. Actually, the vet must know how to make use of all these electrodes because. They are meant for different purposes. Now, I, for myself personally, I would use this, okay? This circular one, the loop. This circular loop. And then with this circular loop, I go in and go below the, the wart and just slice it off using electricity to cut it off. Similarly for this, this uh, lump on the left ear. Now, of course, that depends on whether the, the diameter of the lump is big enough, is small enough. If it's not, if it's not 
uh, small enough, obviously you can't use this or even this. This one is for smaller watts. You, you will use this or this. These are the longer ones. Now, this is represented here in the drawing. Now, the the, the vet has to to to, uh, to decide because some vets they don't they just prefer to use this the straight one. Now the, the trouble with this one is when you cut, you tend to overcut because if you use a straight one and then you try to cut, you 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 overcut and you might miss some parts of the wart. Whereas with this circular one, you go in. You press down and you really go under and strip off the the wart. Now the the advantage is that with this method you you have electricity yeah, and it will tend to tend to uh, coagulate the blood vessels and stop bleeding. Now if you use this straight one, then you have a big hole here uh, which is bleeding. So the vet has to use potassium permanganate powder which is cotton and then that potassium permanganate powder under the wound now I, I wouldn't advise using potassium permanganate for the hamster because it may leak it off the hamster the, the powder may drop off or the hamster may scratch it may scratch it and then the powder goes into the mouth through the pores so potassium permanganate powder is to coagulate breathing which is a useful this is a very useful uh, powder, but best is not to use for hamsters. Now, there is another electrode. This electrode is switched to the coagulation mode in the machine, and this electrode will coagulate the blood vessel. That means stop the bleeding. That means you have to change the electrode and uh, use this to coagulate the wound. They say the wound after you remove the wart, you, you, you put, put this, you take out this one or this one, and then you go and burn the blood vessels. So this is a coagulate. So know how to use your equipment for electrosurgery. Now, the other thing is you need to have a cloth on the table so that the vet wouldn't get ele electro uh, shock, electrical shock, because sometimes the, the hand touches the metallic operating table. You get electric. This is the metallic operating table you can see here. There. So you put a cloth here. You put, you put a cloth here. Then at least when you operate, you can touch the cloth. And it does not touch the metallic table. You may get a shock, electric shock, which is no good because electricity is supposed to go from the electrode to the, the cut the watt and then it goes back to the machine. So you don't have a cloth to insulate the cell, then you get electric shock and it's, it's not a, doing a good job for the surgery, electro surgery. So learn how to use your equipment, try and do some reading or or learn from somebody now. Now as far as suture is concerned, now in hamster the skin is very thin. The skin is very thin unlike dogs and cats. So I would normally prefer a 5-0 or 4-0. 4-0 is a thinner one so that the hamster doesn't feel it and also the skin is very thin. Sometimes I use 5-0. 6-0 is too small, too thin. Yeah, thin. 6-0 is more for eye, cornea and very fine areas. So 3-0 definitely is out. You see, as you can see, 3-0 is thicker huh? and the needle also is long, is thicker. So Anyway, this is each vet's preference. So the hamster has been done and as you can see, the results eight days later that uh, overall he's quite happy he's quite happy but I suspect that there, there may be still some random random of the wart here on the left ear it seems to be some random so this I'm saying that if you use a circular one you'll probably be able to slice off but this might not be this might be this to me looks like a remnant of the wart or it might, it, it, it doesn't s seem to be fully cut off, but uh, we'll compare to the, the other ear, the anatomy. Now this is a nice hamster, so I see the anatomy of this ear. Uh, the hamster might not like me to, so I'll try and lift up this thing and show, sh compare. 
this side the inner ear you can see there it's quite uh, it's quite clean and then also also the vet has irrigated the ear canal so that uh, it's not itchy it's not itchy so that the hamster won't be scratching so in conclusion you can see the the wound heals beautifully and the other video will show the the warts and and the and the big subcutaneous uh, lump. This is eight days of the operation. This is part two of the video. Okay, finish.